like this, he posted a photo of him with like two pizzas in front of him, and the caption was literally like, "Oh, I did such a poo after this. I remember." I did he did a, not say poo. He's like, "I did a massive poo." He said poo. Yeah, dog and daddy, and he goes, uh, eh, "I'm sitting silly Billy backwards," and I was like, "Yeah, silly Billy backwards," and then Colin turned to me and was like, "Is that another term for doggy style?" <laughs> Have you read P.T. the Pissy Pirate? <laughs> you know, uh, some sort of certain uh, exercises with uh, the, my rotator cuff that I've been having about, you know, like... <laughs> <laughs> that was a conversation you had with your wife? I was sitting there! <laughs> trying not to f***ing fall asleep. Yeah. Ew. Ew. What are you at? <laughs> you want to go to the pictures? And then eventually, after f***ing 20 minutes, she goes, You didn't do the back. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you were doing Macho Man there. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm full of piss. Full of piss. Ready to go. <clears throat> Brother. We live? We live, baby. We live. Yeah. Episode 43. Double it in. Nice. 43. Welcome to Silly Turn FM. It's a big day. It's a big day. You finally put your money where your mouth is. I did. The mullet. Yeah. I look like a racist barista. Is here. What episode did we say we were doing? Or was it like a thousand patrons he would get a mullet? <laughs> I think it was two like thousand. Five hundred. Five hundred. <laughs> five hundred. Oh, yeah, yeah, burn like that when there's three thousand. Now he's got it. it. Now I got it. He's got the skullet. The skullet and the mullet live. The mullet and the skullet. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I should grow out the opposite of what you have. <laughs> and then our fucking wrestling movies, we just press them together. <laughs> that is... <laughs> If you grew it out, the rest on tag team immediately. Yeah, or prison. Yeah. I'm going to keep grease. So how do you feel? Everyone's going to... I'm just going to grease my lips up as we talk. There's no, there's no straight, straight way to do that. Oh, uh, but on... There's memes Jack? about it. They're like, girls are like, all soft, seductive lips. And then guys are like, fucking pop butcher. You know what I mean? <laughs> now your lips are, you know, they're glowing like... I don't have lips. I got lips of a tortoise. <laughs> Eating a wee lettuce. We did. <laughs> lips of grub. No grip off these lips. <laughs> lips that snip. These wee sharp ones. Wee fucking tortoise lips. Do you have a luscious lip? Nah. Nah? It's like bumper. <laughs> <laughs> Wait. It's not good at all. Anyway, you've got a mullet now. Yes. You know what I know? I noticed you had a full uh, sort of personality change last night. Just this guy in Lavery's last night hugging everyone. Oh, yeah. Hugging everyone. I'm doing love now. <laughs> yeah, he's, full of, he's fucking piece of love and mullets. He's fucking, what's happening? Hugging everybody. You I know, give Andrew Ryan a nice hug because, you know, he, he walks in the room. Sometimes he looks nervous. Yeah. And I was like, come here. Come here, brother. Aye. We're all friends here. Grab his dick. Aye. Come on. <laughs> Loosen up. <laughs> Loosen up, will you? The most, uh, Andrew, a shout out to Andrew. He, he has his set behind this wall here. That's thick. Don't tell nobody. Are these greasy enough? Oh, uh, like a disco ball. Oh, yeah. Is it Natash? Nah. Okay. No, Natash is dry. I'll talk like one of those girls that has too much lip gloss on. And That's how I talk when I have a nicotine pouch on. Uh, so, <laughs> Andrew Ryan, most Andrew Ryan thing ever, the guy has an Amazon Basics writing, like, notepad mm -hmm. and an Amazon Basics pen. Most Andrew Ryan thing of all time. Yeah, he's, he supports the brand. You know? And I said, can I borrow two pages of that? Because I was going to do a set, which I hadn't planned on doing. And then he goes, yeah, I'll try to invoice you for it. Uh, but that's a bit of crack. Um, but he, he liked Everyone likes the mullet, apart from your mother. Yeah. Allegedly. Yeah. I've, I've tried to piss my mom off for a while now. And, you know, the, it, nothing's worked. You know, like I've got tattoos. Uh -huh. Thought she'd be fuming with that. Tattoos. Didn't care. Got the tattoos still. Uh, Don't. Told her that cocaine. She didn't care. You told your mind you're too close to your ma. Yeah, that's not everything, you know. You come in and go, oh ma, I was on the coke last <laughs> night. Take a look at my cock. I think it's gone away. <laughs> Way too close. She goes, what is that duty? Is that Pyle's mother? <laughs> it is. Get yourselves on over to patreon.com forward slash bomb squad pod where uh, you can unleash just an absolute box of podcasts. I was going to say free there. It's not free at all, is it? They're fucking one of a fortune. But well worth it. And you become part of the community and become a headliner and get your name on the credits. Um, it's a fun time. Live podcasts, podcasts, other benefits. What more do you want? Early tickets for live podcasts. What else is on there? Nudes of Aaron. 
foot pics. He's got nude mullet pics. <laughs> It's all on there. I'm going on tour in the south of Ireland. Uh, hitting all the major hotspots. Letter Kenny on the 1st of March. And then wait four weeks. And then I'm hitting, you know, the usual Galway, Limerick, Cork, Dundalk, Drogheda, as Aaron would say. Uh, <laughs> if, if you go to colongettis.com, you can get tickets for that. You never know. He might be there. You might be opening some of them. I might land around. Yeah? I might land around. You might right. land around Letter Kenny. <laughs> it's only up their own share. But that's great. Get on the Patreon, get on congas.com, get tickets, all that good stuff. Thanks. But the mullet, she's, you know, she wasn't happy about it. But do you know what's funny? She didn't notice. For it, and I was like, I'll see how long I can let this go for. She didn't notice? She didn't notice. Because how I was did walking it? into the house, she was in the kitchen. So she saw me like, you know, face on. And then I was like going out of my way to try and get her to see it. So I'd be going to the cupboard reaching for a glass. Like out there. <laughs> you know? And then eventually... After fucking 20 minutes, she goes, they didn't do the back. <laughs> <laughs> and I goes, no, that's what I wanted. Did she drop a cup of tea in slow motion? <laughs> that's not my what son anymore. Is that? He's a bot. <laughs> but no, she was like, no, she goes, that's, you know, I, I just don't like it. Yeah. And I was like, fuck you and your whole crew. She'll have one in two weeks. Yeah. Get your mom mullet. Bex with a mullet. Aye. We're taking her to Nashville, like, so we might as well get her prepped up for it. Yeah. Cowboy hat mullet. I can't wait to see my man Nashville. She's terrified of the flight. She's like, I, I can't do that long of a flight. Like, couple of, get a few gins and you'll be fucking all right. Couple of edibles. Aye. What's an edible for a granny? Sandwich, two sandwiches. <laughs> couple of tea. Fall asleep. One of my French fancies. <laughs> Macaroon. <laughs> I'd love to get my mother in the weed. I think we should in Nashville. Get her on the... It's easy enough to sneak weed into someone, isn't it? No, oh, I will, especially using them as wraps, floating her tail. Falls asleep in the plane, hold her nose, joint her mouth. <laughs> we'll take her to Graceland, you know. Um, so you're, she, she didn't like it. She'll grow into it. She will. Because she will. the day that you shave it off, she'll be like, okay, you're no fun now. Yeah. Used, I miss to, be, it. used to be good crack. Used to hug people. Did I, did, I might have told this story in a podcast before, but um, anyway, everyone's mother's, like, you know, she's probably like, fucking head your size, you know? Yeah. <laughs> She didn't say that, but yeah. My my ma, when she was still alive uh, years ago, wanted to get her nose pierced for years, and then went to like Christmas dinner at my granny's with a fake one in, thinking it would be a bit of a prank. And my granny was like, "Well, fucking face as ugly as yours. Why would you make it even worse with that?" And then she got in the car and drove off, completely backfired. Oh my god! With a fucking stinking bake like yours, what are we doing? Putting a fucking nail in it and then <laughs> took off in the polo. What <laughs> well, the face is stinking as yours? Yeah. Totally backfired. Thought it was going to be a bit of crack. Oh, what'd you do that for? He's like, you fucking ugly bitch. <laughs> that is funny. Like, I'd love to see um, prank videos backfire. Yeah. You know, or even those ones where it's like people come back from Australia after four years. You, you couldn't do that in my house. Like, no. I'm not barely give a fuck. No. You know? <laughs> Anywhere I went, people would just be going, all right. If I came back from New York after like five years and went into the house, my mom would just very quickly go back into mom mode and be like, have you had yet? Uh. That'd be it. Take your fucking shoes off. Yeah. Them stinking foreigners over in America. Oh, you've gained a bit of weight. Uh, Fair play to you. <laughs> oh, see if I didn't miss any meals. Oh, she's the Weight Watcher. I tell you, she sees it. Yeah. If I'm going up or down, she'll notice. Yeah. Everything, every fucking day. Uh, you see, back in the day, there was no fat shaming. Or, or there, no, there was fat shaming. Oh, there, there fat was shaming no, was right. There was no wokeness, but here you didn't see many facts. No. Nah. No. Nah. Because everyone was too, as they call them, big burly hooers. Yeah. You know? Especially with that Irish guilt. Yeah. You know, do you want a biscuit? No, I've already eaten this week. Couldn't have seen to be fat. I got a nice insight into your life today before mm. the podcast. Mm. We had a sleepover last night. Oh, me yeah. and Aaron, you know, the buses are striking, the roads are slippy, you know, because <laughs> we've sort of moved into the in laws. And you told your ma that, what'd she say? Oh, so <laughs> like Maureen and Eddie were staying in. Uh, the in-laws The in-laws <laughs> last night And uh, I told my mum I was like Oh I'm staying at Collins tonight After Laverice And she was like But sure Where are you going to sleep Sure where, Where's Moyne and I And I was like Oh they're staying over At the uh, The in-laws house And mum was like oh, Did they have a row <laughs> I was like Yes they have yeah. I'm, I'm going over to Peacemaker Yeah yeah. I'm the peacekeeper Well no I'll solve this Have an iron here <laughs> 
Just bringing that chilled out vibe. Yeah. Relax. So you slept in Eddie's bed? I did. And it had the protectors. <laughs> it, had the, it, had the, it had the bumpers up on the bed. <laughs> Do you know what? I loved it. I, I was big into it. You ever used that bunk bed life? You were like, oh, cozy. Oh, because I, I am a roller. Like, you know, I roll about in the bed, you know, fighting off my demons. <laughs> Just Especially when you have to lay that mullet out now. <laughs> <laughs> lay it out flat. So I swear to God, I woke up and I forgot I had it. I was like, oh, fuck, eh? <laughs> well, how did that look? Did you be like, oh, <laughs> oh <my laughs> The air is exposed. Like, Yeah, but it's nice because it's like when you're on a pillow now, like <laughs> after night one, you know, you got the fucking just raw flesh mm. up against the coiled pillow and then the hair over the top of it. Mm-hmm. You know, it sits nicely. Welcome to my world. <laughs> you, get, you get in the bed. You get in the bed with... With a fresh shaved head, and you're like lying on one side. I'm a side sleeper. Oh, same. I don't wank on my side, but I sleep on my side. Yeah, here, it'll come. Uh, it'll come. It'll come. <laughs> Bet it does. And uh, I'll be lying like this, and I'll be like, oh, I'll turn around. And I turn around, and the, the friction of the head just goes <laughs> and just balls the pillow up. And then Maureen gives off to me, like, you fucking, it's like a dog's been sleeping on that. Like, I'll take, I'll take a brand new pillow, and in a week, it looks like it's been in a student house for two decades. Yeah. Like, I've absolutely fucked it. Yeah. You know, it's nice. It feels nice, you know, because I don't ever go to bed. It used to feel like I was sleeping with a beanie on, you know, because you've oh, got yeah. that layer of hair against yeah. the bow. Yeah. But now I'm just like fucking pillow on flesh. It's great. Yeah. I slept with a hoodie on last night. Nice. Chilly, you know. Nice. I brought the jammies, of course. Oh, yeah. Yeah. This guy's well prepped for staying in someone's house. He was upstairs with about five months. I had the jammies on. Looks like he's in a next cat look. Oh, <laughs> standing in the hallway with a mullet. <laughs> I should have more jammy treasures than I do trousers. Probably, yeah, probably. Um, but we had a sleepover, and uh, we did we did some drunk sober behavior, which was we talked about it last week. Just watched me just fucking putting on Jack White videos, and and lo- you know, like looking at the TV and then looking at you, like, yeah, are you seeing this? Yeah, are you drinking it in? Yeah, uh, but we had a good time. Now you had me in a few videos, like you know, aye. Because what I like about Jack White is whilst I'm not well versed in that area of music, he is a showman, like. Oh yeah, you know that said he didn't go no brand. We went over to the chair and all. I was like, yeah, yeah, man's fucking owning the whole stage. Oh yeah, making use of the space. Yeah, it's wild. It's chaotic. It is. I like it. And the the wife or ex wife, she was drumming. Aye, she's she's pulling some cum faces and behind them drums like. Oh, she was just struggling. No, but like I've seen people drum like, and they don't be doing all that. She's doing too much. Uh, she gets a while slagging Meg White. You know, all the technical drummers are like, oh, she's crap. But she will she will be in, you know, the depths of a fucking, you know, improvisational slide session for seven minutes. Well, I just... <laughs> you fucking kind of keep up. But and he's she, like, no, I'm not her. And she goes, like, double speed. And then he nods at her again. <laughs> yeah, but it's, it's just, it's very sexual, you know, because she be playing the drums. And, like, I know the fuck all about drums. So I go, oh, she's, she's fucking killing it, you know? Yeah. And then you'll see her drumming and she's like... Yeah. You know, like she's in a garnet fructus out of her. It's big, she's in pain. Mm. Tits flopping about. Oh, Seven I, minutes of cardio. You know what I mean? Yeah. Nightmare. Yeah. Jack White off him one. You know, can't tell him nothing. Yeah. Can we make that song short? <laughs> <laughs> Shut up. It was nice seeing the transformation of him over the years, too. You know, you took me in the Jack White time machine. <laughs> yep. You know, got up to current day. I was like, fucking hell, boy. Yeah. You know, the rock and roll has to. It takes its toll on you, like. I don't think so. I think he's. Better than ever. You get the blue short hair. Aye. Bouncing about the stage. The dead giveaway with the rockers, they start wearing trainers. That's <laughs> oh, the yeah. dead giveaway. You know, they're like, I've kept all the shit. Custom jacket, custom fucking Fender guitars, blue hair. What, what's that brand? Sacconi or something? Yeah. Sacconi? <laughs> yeah. Fucking runners. Rock and roll. For the arch, you know? <laughs> you know you want to roll the arches like? You want to fucking, you don't want to get plasher fan. What is it called? What's it called? Plasher fasciitis. <laughs> That's his new album. <laughs> 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 Planter Fash. Uh, well, it was great. Then we picked up Batty. I know, but this is this is this was the insight that he's talking about. This man lying, you know, he's in a B and B, chilling. And I got back and I was like, I'm fucking days work done already. Which was waiting for a treadmill in the Gilet. This is fucking. <laughs> this is this is this is how I. You know, we're like, right, we'll watch one more Jack White video. Finished it. I was like, I have to go to bed here. Go upstairs fucking just lie down set the thing for like quarter to eight and you know like those memes where I literally went duh, 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 and it was fucking back up again yeah defrosting cars yeah waiting on a fucking treadmill to be delivered straight to it yeah 
Got the curved treadmill. Gonna be a different man now. Oh, nice. Sprinting everywhere. Oh, the boys are getting ripped. The boys are getting ripped. Mm. I'm gonna be explosive, powerful. I took off my t-shirt last night in Lavras. He did. He was really feeling himself. He had, the charged mo- up. he had the mullet and he pulled the fucking billy bears out. Uh, I said to him, you watch this. And I just started slapping my tits in front of him. Nah, wild. The waterbed. <laughs> Well, the belly is still watery, like you know. <laughs> we're trying to, <laughs> I'm trying to poke, I'm trying to poke a bit on that, you know. Web time, web time. Well, it's a uh, you lose weight from your head down. You do, which is good news for you. <laughs> yes, I mean I get a mullet. Everyone's like, have you lost five stone? I know it happens every time. And twenty years younger. Jesus, arms looking well. Oh yeah, he's been to the barbers. Even Desiree, her, me and Face, time to her about it. Yeah, she dropped an end bomb. Yeah, she did. I can't like, but. I was saying to her I was going to get a mullet and she was like, no, don't do that. Don't do that. And then uh, I went and FaceTimed her and I was like, what do you got? And she was like, okay, bitch. Yeah. And I was like, that's the only set of approval I need. That'd be a nice couple, wouldn't it? Yeah. Me and Desiree? Yeah. Well, you, I, I was saying to you about that AO. What do you call her? AO? Is that her name? Ayo. Shout out to Cora. Shout out to Derry. Yeah. From the, sh- from the TV show, The Bear. Yeah. Like a woman for me now. Aye. You know? Because we've talked about it before, what's the ideal woman for you? Mm-hmm. Nerdy black girl. Yeah. Happy enough. Yeah. The love me all be the best about it. But again, like the mall she grew into. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Mall and the black girlfriend within the one year might give her an aneurysm. She was like, "Come on, Aaron, come on, you round me, Ayo." My heart said, "Like, she'd be like, what can she eat?" <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> like anything. <laughs> Which takes pods? She's actually a chef. <laughs> <laughs> so you're in luck. But yeah, I don't know. What was the crack with her? Like she, she did she live in Ireland for a while, or did, was that just a myth as well? I don't know. She said she lived over here for the banshees, but then that was a joke or something, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, it was a joke that she was the donkey in the banshees were in Sharon. What was the donkey called, Matt? Uh, I don't know. Quiz question. We were trying to remember today. Did she just say that randomly, or was yeah, there any yeah, relation to the know. donkey? No, no. <laughs> just said it randomly. It was a running joke. <laughs> she didn't even know she's been to Ireland. She did it a Dublin accent, and I was like, that ain't bad. Yeah. You know? Ew. Ew. What are you at? <laughs> <laughs> you want to go to the pictures? <laughs> Omni pl- Pass? Aye, uh, fucking right. £10 a month. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about we'll it. We'll make it down. Uh, I, uh, we, we, we mentioned it last week. You just all these women queuing up. In your DMs, and you're like, nah, I'm hanging in there for those famous chicks. Yeah. You're like, I'm, listen, I don't have time for that. I'm on a different spiritual path, but Sydney Sweeney, <laughs> if you reach out to me, I will make an exception. Oh, our Laird's Jewelers tomorrow. Laird's Jewelers. First thing. Laird's Jewelers. Get a lockdown. Get a lockdown. Put the ring on it. <laughs> I'd say. <laughs> you just outside fucking Bob and Burns. <laughs> Sydney, come here. Come here to me. Uh, Imagine taking Sydney Sweeney. Tell me, tell me this. <laughs> Would you fucking marry me or something? I know you've been to the rich snob, but until you've had Bert Stack, you haven't lived. <laughs> Have you had that gay kick out of Bob and Bert's? <laughs> the, the gay kick? Yeah. yeah. I know exactly what you're talking about. Yeah, the fucking rainbow flag. Like the rainbow one? Aye. Uh, it's made of common sponge. That'd be worse for your teeth than these things. <laughs> common sponge? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's what they call Bob and Bert's in uh, Amsterdam. Common <laughs> sponge. <laughs> common sponge does sound like a peep show. <laughs> <laughs> you come and they send the sponsors in. <laughs> there might there be sponsors for them peeps. It was like they got to come on. Oh, with yeah, there has to be. There has to be. They got to come on with a. But you know, it's like every other cleaning job. You know, you know, no one wants to do it, so they they get someone from a different country who who's just like this is just work. I don't give a fuck. Yeah, we give him up and up shade. Come stick a podcast in. Aye. get the yellow squidgy. Aye, you can be doing worse. You know, get the suds under you, the You cum. can be in an office. You know, answering to a boss. And all. And that's it. You're your own boss when you're wiping up cum. That's what I'm saying. Work on my own pace. <laughs> Guy at the door. I've, hurry up. I have a route. Well, yeah, you're working at his pace. Aye. That's the thing. Yeah. <laughs> what the fuck are we talking about? <laughs> Sorry. But anyhow, we picked up Eddie today from nursery. Aye, yeah. Back to childcare. And, and uh, common sponges. Like, there was a real... <laughs> there was a real hard left in terms of, like, there was a wee wholesome moment, right? Mm-hmm. Where Eddie got into the car and he had the car seat, right? But he sat backwards, you know, which weirdly w- did look safer. You know? it, it actually is safer. If, if, if you want to, if you want to laugh, the, you look up uh, the the crash tests when the seat, well, like when a baby's newborn, you put the seat backwards. Yeah. 
and then at a certain age you can sort of turn it forwards because when they're that young their head's just fucking floating about on a string like the yeah. gears kind of yeah uh, and then uh, but they keep they, do, they have these videos of like crash tests where like the baby's pointed backwards because on impact the baby just uh, hits the seat yeah or it's on the seat so it's just like force going back and then they you know do the reverse test with the fucking you know like a doll going forward hitting the wall and then it's just like head off and fucking you know, like, <laughs> legs go behind its head no? it's like disaster but yeah the, the seat swivels so Maureen was like well it'd be funny if you just put him backwards yeah. he doesn't fit anymore his legs were like this but uh he, I, he was sitting in the seat and uh you know I'm like I'm like just talking at it and he goes uh uh, I'm sitting silly billy backwards and I was like yeah silly billy backwards and then Colin turned to me and was like is that another term for doggy style? <laughs> <laughs> silly yeah. billy backwards if you were trying to get some action uh, you know off your wife but didn't want to say it out loud <laughs> it's Friday night you know what that means yeah. but a silly billy backwards <laughs> before we do the dishes a <laughs> couple of pink gins and she's looking for the silly billy backwards <laughs> I had this chick last night, man. <laughs> yeah, it sounds like if one of the Wiggles were describing sex. <laughs> silly belly backwards. <laughs> Walking on your parents. Silly belly backwards. Oh, shut the door. Play with your toys. Oh, fucker. Play with your toys till the screaming stops. <laughs> yeah, get an iPad noise cancelling the headphones. <laughs> Let mum and dad do silly belly backwards. <laughs> Silly Billy frontwards. Oh yeah, missionary. <laughs> <laughs> Is that just mesh? Mesh. <laughs> Straight up mesh. <laughs> Silly Billy back. I'm only saying that now. Type it in the porn hub there. See what comes up. <laughs> Silly Billy backwards. <laughs> Give it out the air. Silly Billy backwards and. Uh... Trying to hit it from the silly back with no strings attached, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> hit it with that silly string. Uh, what? String? I wouldn't say so. Yeah. <laughs> paste. Yeah, the goofy paste. Uh, but we... Uh, <laughs> <that's>... <laughs> I, I looked over there, I was like, we're only 20 minutes. See, in. we're in the same frequency right now, because I've had the day you've had. You know what well, I mean? I'm both <laughs> 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 you pulled me into retardation. Yeah. <laughs> but like we went to David Frank's cafe. Yeah, we did. They've fucking nailed it. What a spot that is. Oh, it is. Try the stables. It legit is it's great. It's you just know? no nonsense. Good food, good coffee, good vibes. Good vibes, yeah. It was great. And so are you live on a sitcom? Like that cafe within yeah. about twenty minutes, the whole family was there. Yeah. And I was like, this is literally Seinfeld. Yeah. You know? Yeah. You said I'm Kramer. He's Kramer, bursting it over the mullet, screaming the M word. Yeah, whole cafe stands up and applauds. Give me some avocado ninjas. <laughs> and this man's this man was this guy at the table this morning. Goddamn fucking I don't know. What do you call it? Andrew fucking what's the guy called? Did? No. <laughs> Huberman. Oh yeah, that's a small fucker over toast this morning, man. I'm the fashion queen. He's the fight. He's fucking giving, us the, giving us the rundown and fucking you know blah 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 and your fucking sh- blood sugar level spikes if you eat one one way a day and whatever and the thing about that get into the, it's all about the routine really about. It. I was like, bro, what the fuck happened to you? One man, one mullet, one mullet. And, a, and a couple of gym <laughs> sessions, and he's like, fucking. And the online program is available for only fucking eighty nine ninety nine a month, and it's like, fucking eat that sausage and fuck up, will you? <laughs> uh, blah blah blah. Like, uh, you know, uh, some sort of certain uh, exercises with uh, the, my rotator cuff that I've been having. But you know, like, like <laughs> <laughs> was a conversation with your wife. I was sitting there <laughs> trying not to fucking fall asleep. <laughs> well, you actually did put me to sleep last night. <laughs> talking about cars. <laughs> He fell asleep in the car. I mean, you didn't chat about cars last night. Literally went into slumber. I mean, that's Unit's fault. Like he, <laughs> he's he's afraid of silence. I felt like going, we can just look out the window, like, yeah. I'll turn the music up for fuck sake. Yeah, I just went for a kip. Yeah. <laughs> you know, woke up at Apple Greens, so I was like, I've been off. <laughs> you can tell when Aaron's in the back, you can't see out the back window at all. <laughs> we just dark out there. Oh, it's his face. <laughs> oh, did I, have my, did I have my mouth open? Oh, catching flies. Did I? Yeah. Fucking need to work on that. Yeah. Need, need to, to work on that. Need to figure that out. Oh, well, you're on the right path. You'll be taping your mouth next and fucking... <laughs> Sea moss and doing all that shit. Cold plunges. 
What's the CMOS for? I'm not even going to tell you because you'll have it in the morning. Yeah, we shaker. No, it's it's uh, it's some sort of jizzy fucking thing. <laughs> <laughs> they're going to be sick. Sorry, can you <laughs> No, it's, it's, it's actually, I've seen a guy take it in the gym next door. It's like a, it looks like a pot of jam, but it's got this wobbly like gunge in it. But it's supposed to be for like, I don't know what the fuck it does actually to be honest. I think he said something about hydration or something. You know, it's like, <laughs> see, I don't know. I don't, I don't you know see what shit fuck. like that, you're like, you don't want to be dead. You know? Aye. You know, there's no, you know, let me have a coffee. You can't be running about like that. It's like my, it's like my mom says about everyone now. You know, their heads is fucked because they overcomplicate things. True. You know, back in the day, it was just a case of, you know, you only had beating spuds. That was all you had. You know, health was grand. I'm going to look up. This is what I'm going to look up right now. Ben, wait, hold on. I'm going to write benefits of CMOS. Benefits of CMOS. I've never even heard anybody taking that. What the fuck like, is CMOS? Well, carry on. But you know what put me off? I saw a guy next door being like, oh, I was taking a bit of CMOS and like, he was putting it in his mouth. It was like a fucking spoonful of jizz. Ugh. And he was just like, <laughs> and I was like, not worth it at all. No. Nah. Yeah. Nutrition jizz? If that made my fucking dick twice the size, I wouldn't take it. Nah. The struggle you're going through right now. Nah, fuck that. Provides iodine and tyrosine, ty tyrosine, which support a healthy thyroid, rich in fiber. It also acts as a prebiotic, boosting good bacteria in the gut, contains phytochemicals. That improve the immune system. Its fiber content means it slows down digestion and balances blood sugar levels. Nah, fuck it. But then also just mouthful of cum. You know, the guy's, the guy's like... <laughs> My thyroid's in grand, Nick. You sure? I don't know. I don't know what it is. <laughs> My friend Peter told me I have a leaky gut. He goes, like, my, said, my, I swear to God, he actually said My thighs that. rub and my rods are <laughs> bleeding down my leg. Oh, no, I don't, even, I, don't even, I don't even like to touch my own legs. It freaks me out. Really? Yeah, my face feel like the elephants. We should get uh, tattoos on them, though. No, or sorry, like just in here. Uh huh. Like it's, it's like an elephant. Like it's like an old sofa. It's like leathery. Is it? Yeah, it's not good. <laughs> just year. Have you got cauliflower thighs? I think so. Yeah. Jesus Christ. Man. It's just chafing. Like it's nonstop. <laughs> Any weather. Chafing the roller. Twenty four seven, three sixty five. Chaf silly. Chafing yeah. in your sleep. <laughs> Sleep chafing Sleep chafing, yeah uh, What were you saying there? It's, I see him also with Jack I don't know, seems like it Yeah But that'll be you, man You're on a, you're no, a, a life-changing no, path here No, no I just I get into the gym I clang and bang This guy's getting his I blood, drink the Volvic Getting his bloods done twice a day and you No, know, Jesus Monitoring no. his fucking heart rate and his sleep and Anytime I get the bloods done Fucking five nurses have to hold me down Yeah and I'd be vicious when I'm getting the bloods done like Because mm. I know all the tricks they're dirty tricksters, you know, because they know what that are the, you're... What are the tricks if you're in there for that? No, but, they, you know, because if you're a nervous patient like myself, I'd hate needles, freak me out. Yeah. So if I go in to get bloods done, you know, they do the old thing where they're like, have you any hollies coming up? And I've seen that before, so I'm like, I know you don't give a fuck. Yeah. <laughs> you know, just stick it at me to fucking get me out of here. Well, you that's know? your opportunity to just say anything. Yeah. I go to Little St. James here uh, in June. <laughs> Me and the Clintons. <laughs> she won't give a fuck. She's jamming on in your arm. Yeah. I hate it. Do you, do you not give a fuck about I getting really, I don't really give a fuck now. That freaks me out. The only thing gets me a bit like, oh, fuck, I can't watch it, is bones breaking. Oh, yeah. So, like, if, if there's, like, an old, you know, fucking highlight from a jiu-jitsu competition. Yeah. And it's, like, graphic content because someone's knees going, yeah. you know, back the roads. Nope. That, that freaks me. <laughs> I don't fr yeah, I am a bit just like, Ugh, I'll look away for that. Yeah. But blood and all, and I don't really mind blood and guts. You know, you were talking about Twitter feeds, uh, like ours for a while was just like people getting killed. Aye. Flat out. They're just deaf. Yeah. On the timeline. Yeah. Now mine's is just full of like, if you've seen this, you're down bad. And it's like a picture of some girl just getting, <laughs> she's in silly bully backwards. <laughs> and, uh, you know, they're just like, it's just people posting links then to the porn video. Yeah. It's good advertising. It is good advertising. Because you're going like, oh man, you know, you've been in the depths of the internet if you've seen this shit. Yeah. And then you're going, well, I don't want to be the only c not seen it. Yeah, it's like Saltburn. Huh? Yeah, I have to see it now. Yeah. Everyone's trying to the bath come. Yeah. <laughs> CMOS. CMOS. <laughs> that's what, that's what, that'll be the nickname when you blast one in the bath. <laughs> oh, <laughs> no, 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 even I wouldn't do that. Just laid a couple that's, of CMOSs. You're blasting the bath. That's 
No worse place to be fucking blowing loads. No, you shouldn't be. You should be nowhere near an aqua source. Aqua when you're blasting. Source. <laughs> Everybody, you know, jizz plus water equals nightmare. Yeah, Spider Man. Sticky. <laughs> <laughs> fucking everything's just. <laughs> it's like a sun on the floor. Yeah. It's rotten. It's like when you drop an egg in the kitchen floor, you're like. Can't oh, get all these fucked now. Come, come pick it up. Yeah. You know what I mean? An egg smash on the floor is enough to send me back to bed. Uh, I was cracking some eggs with Eddie the other day. Not a euphemism. I was, I was literally making scrambled egg. And uh, he likes cracking the egg. But he fucking just didn't put, you know, like, there's a bowl of eggs. And I was going, just like that. You know, just tapping on the table, not the bowl. Tapping uh-huh. on the table, cracking into the bowl. And he was just what, copying the motion. But he must have sort of skipped the part where he was like, oh, we're putting it in the bowl. He was just going, <laughs> just right out, right on the top of the worktop. And just run off the side. And I was like, nah, hold it over. Yeah. You know, hold it over the fucking thing. He's See, like, no, I must crack it where I, where I broke the shell. Just right <laughs> <here>. <laughs> ah, Have you ever got a portion of scrambled for yourself? How many eggs are you using? Oh, depends who's watching. <laughs> I'll usually do four. four. Yeah, I do four. Yeah, but four is good. Four. Although, I keep watching that, that Eddie Abu, Abu guy or whatever. Who's that? He's, a, he's an elderly bodybuilder. Right. Older black chap. So, your granddad? Yeah. He's the guy who walks around all the all the um like supermarkets and he picks up like cereal and he'd be like this is shit stop giving it to your children it is total shit <laughs> and just everything you just pick up like a fucking sweet potato and be, well not a sweet potato pick up like a regular potato and go this is shit this is poison don't give it to your children sweet potatoes fell off yeah big style big style but not with the the hardcore fitness gang uh, no they, they don't actually more calories the sweet, they are the sweet spuds they are better fiber though but here this is the point I was making. This motherfucker, you're in the fasting window. Mm. This guy will fast at like two o'clock, and they'll be like, "This is my first meal of the day," and he, the guy's having twelve hard-boiled eggs. Nice. Is, but then you know all those all those fucking you know really high-protein carnivore type guys. You know, once they get used to it, like this, he posted a photo of him with like two pizzas in front of him, and the caption was literally like. Oh, I did such a poo after this, I remember. I did he did a, not say poo. He's like, I did a massive poo. He said poo. Yeah. But he's basically going like, you know, I only eat protein. My body sucks up all the nutrients. And then I just drop out like dice, like square, <laughs> you know what I mean? Like square pellets. Just shit in a full Monopoly board. Like a guinea pig shit from last week. You know, he just does me guinea pig shit. But he's, and then he has a pizza in the middle of it. And he's like, I did a massive poo after this, I remember. <laughs> the last time I did a massive poo. What if make you, you do a massive poo? What? What's a guaranteed massive poo every time for you? <laughs> well, like, he has a point. Like, if you had a fucking Domino's and a half. That's a massive poo. That's a massive poo. <laughs> that's a massive poo. <laughs> 30 minutes exactly when the shit talk. <laughs> yeah, because yeah, people always yeah, people always go on about spicy food. and oh, my arse was tripping me. But if, you, if I just eat, like, a load of doughy shit. Yeah. yeah if I had, like, a, like a Domino's. Yeah. Which I don't even like Domino's, but if I had, like, a load of pizza. Loaf. Yeah. Loaf one night. She's tough, they. Big poo. <laughs> <laughs> Just. <laughs> A cheese toasty make you poo? Yeah, not like big poo, like poo. <laughs> <laughs> I think we're going back it's to lactose intolerant. No, 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 I don't have that shit. It's for funny. <laughs> it's for funny. But <laughs> seems to be every day I have a coffee, a shape myself. I definitely have it, to be <laughs> fair. <laughs> I feel like the week after we mocked IBS in this podcast, I was like, oh, I have that. Yeah. I don't totally get the it. The Lord heard you. Oh, yeah. Uh, Big Poo. Uh, I've talked, well, I've talked about it many times. I had too much guacamole one time. Painted the room. Uh <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yeah, there's a few things in Big Poo. Like, yeah. <laughs> this is like silly Billy backwards in Big Poo. <laughs> it is like the Wiggles. <laughs> silly Billy backwards in Big Poo. What up? What up, player? Shut up, bitch. <laughs> they should teach that to kids, though. <laughs> like, oh, but there is that. There is that. Like, every. every Lear- learning curve that you have with a child, you know, you'd be like, oh, I'm struggling to, you know, fucking get my son to like pee in the toilet and not in his fucking bed. And then they're like, have you read P.T. the Pissy Pirate? <laughs> like, I swear to God, there's like a fucking book for everything. You know what I mean? <laughs> uh, so I swear to God, that might actually be one. It's something like that. P.T. the Pissy Pirate. Like P- P- 
something, the peddling pirate or something? What's it a tale of a pirate who can't stop pushing himself on shore? Y- yeah. Well, he's a wee boy, you know what I mean, with a pirate's hat on. Yeah. You know, it'd be weird if it was like a fully, like Johnny Depp with a looter, right? <laughs> this is, you know, this is how you pish, lad. <laughs> Johnny <laughs> Depp. <laughs> Liam Neeson. Liam he's Neeson. a pussy pirate. Yeah. My advice is don't even take it out. <laughs> Leave it in the jeans. <laughs> let the let the let the wind take care of it. Let the coochie breathe. <laughs> <laughs> let that coochie breathe. Let that coochie breathe. That song with Drake and Sexy Red. It's so funny because let that coochie breathe does sound like something out wife from Throne would say. Uh, you know, <laughs> like if you've had a wild feed, you're like, "Fuck, I must go out here for a walk." Let that coochie breathe. <laughs> a little bit of air. <laughs> I said, he does sound like he's a mechanic. Yeah. Well, let that coochie breathe two seconds. <laughs> it is a gross thought, though, you know, like fucking some car pulling her cacks down, like opening an, o- an oven door. Get the coochie breathing. <laughs> let that first waft come out. <laughs> Steams your glasses up. Jesus. <laughs> Jesus Christ, sexy red. <laughs> Cooch is joking. <laughs> let, that, let that fucking coochie breathe. <laughs> oh, she has a sex tip. Sexy red? She, lo- she looks like she needs to fucking let her coochie breathe. <laughs> I actually haven't seen what she looks like. She needs to hang hers out in the line for a couple of days. jeez. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, I was telling you about that video though of the have you seen this? It's like a big viral video with the wee girls. Have you seen this? Have you seen this? Have you heard of this? The wee girl is like a birthday party. And the wee girl is in the pink dress and she's singing that song and she's got like eight twelve year olds around her all singing the lyrics too. No, I don't think so. Tim's seen it in his Twitter timeline, which is like it just shows the fucking difference. on YouTuber? I think I could find it. Oh no, it's just all dumpers. <laughs> oh well, we're gonna have to watch that, aren't we? Well, it feels weird to browse through videos of dumpers for you know, I'm like, where's the kid one? <laughs> <laughs> um, no, I'll get it for you, but it's very funny. But yeah, Tim's was like some doll ranting about it, being like, this is a disgrace, that this is what we're allowing the youth of tomorrow to do and all this here. And then mine's was, if the function ain't this lit, don't invite me. Because <laughs> <laughs> he's got that crushing timeline. Let the coochie breathe. Oh, God. Tim putting up the sexy photos there this morning. Oh, why? I need to air out my coochie. Yeah. Oh, he's letting the Gucci brief. He's got that sleeper build. Yeah. That's a big thing people are saying these days. What's a sleeper build? You know, you just look like a guy and then you fucking... You see a lot of those guys on like TikTok and all where he looks like a wee nerd and then he just goes like, boom. Oh, uh, yeah. Jacked. Yeah. I got a sleeper build. Like, I look like I sleep all the time. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know what I mean? <laughs> there was something I was listening to where it was like some dude talking about, you know... Girls' romanticization <laughs> of dad bods. Yeah. And the guy was like, well, that's all bullshit. Because he's like, I'm I'm a New York Times bestseller. And he's like, any book you read that's erotica, it's always like some slender Spanish man with a six pack that's like the romantic interest. It's never like just some hefty. Yeah, but what, what people think is a dad bod <clears throat> is not what an actual dad bod is like. Like, do you not remember the Jason Momoa thing? Where they're like, oh my God, loving the dad bod. Because mm. he went from like fucking six percent body fat to like 10 yeah because he had a few stouts yeah and the guy you know like the guy's obviously still massive and jacked but doesn't have a you know a slippery six pack anymore yeah. like, what a dad bod yeah i don't have a dad bod i have like a sad bod i have like the kind of bod where you might write to me being like is your mental health all right man yeah i've got a mom bod like a pixar mom i look like i've had four kids <laughs> You turn up at a fucking primary school and look at all the fat mas walking in. I blend right in. <laughs> With my knee length gilet. <laughs> you were definitely the most swagged out parents at the nursery today. Well, I'm going to tell you that. They want to save myself. I'll tell you that for free. They don't, yeah. Next one, I'm charging you. Yeah. I mean, that, that, yeah. You do You do just adopt the fucking the look. Yeah. The drop on the kids off look. Yeah. You know. But we try and keep it swag, you know what I mean? Yeah, you do. Fucking Columbia gilet, fresh out of the pack. It was in the post box this morning. Open the post box, ripped it open, put it on. Yeah. And that is indeed how I roll. Yeah. <laughs> straight out of the post box, straight on my back. Is right. Along with 20 packs of Nordic Spirits. Oh, yeah, that was a big out of the box. See you later, gums. Yeah, we need to get off these as well. With a new addiction. Nah. We do. Ride it till the gums fall off. I think my gums weren't great neck before I started taking these. Nah. Uh, no, they're black. Are you, 
Black. <laughs> Are you waking up yet and just peeling a layer of them off? No, nah, well, I had that actually funny because I used to always have it in the exact same place every time, yeah, which was get, very, very front. You got to shuffle it about. And one day I put my tongue up near my gums and a whole butt fell off. Oh, I was like, fuck, that's not great. That's not great. But listen, at least your lungs are repairing. Oh, that's it. From years of vape abuse. Two years. Two, Two years, have I? Two years. Oh, dawn till dusk. Yeah. The other day I'd wake up and just grab it. I miss it. You see, he'll be making reels now about the, you know like here's what's good here's what happens to your body after two weeks off vapes you know that sort of thing yeah full health guy start a health page i should, I should start online pt and yeah <laughs> what would you call it irons what would you call it it's just <laughs> something to do with spoof yes you mccann yes you mccann get out of bed put on some plates put Bang on some plates <laughs> of eggs <laughs> just four <laughs> yeah just four we're not trying to go crazy here. I was a bit upset we couldn't actually get a workout done this morning. Was Me a, too. I was a bit annoyed about that. Um, it was all very rushed. You should come down to the ladder center sometime, sir. We'll no. get you in the sauna. No. We'll get you in the sauna. That's not a workout. Watch the steam come off you. That's no, I know you do it after the workout. That's sit, self-care. Sit, sitting down sweating. I do it every day. Get you in the Braniflex jacuzzi. You know? Full of fucking dingleberries. Yeah, it's crusty. Nah, but it's bro. nice. The water's warm. The water's warm. You can barely taste the chunks. <laughs> come on, <laughs> It's great. It is great. Where was I? It must have been in Tenerife or something, in like a fucking jacuzzi type setup at the pool. And there's like you know these foreigners, these Europeans, like you know you're sitting there and you're like, you know you're you're like it's clearly absolutely what? No, just you said foreigners out of a hard F and an R. And I was like, oh shit, foreign ass, foreign ass. <laughs> That's a white guy, like yeah. This is a fucking German guy. That in, doesn't like, count then. Yeah. In speedos, like yeah, basically a Nazi, you know. Yeah. And he fucking, <laughs> he fucking, uh, just just like budged his way into the fucking the jacuzzi. I was like, bro, there is no room in here. No, nah, that's ignorance. There's no room at the end. That's ignorance. He's like, oh, bunch up, yeah, Ugh. touching everyone. Yeah, I don't like that. If there's two boys in the sauna, I won't get in the middle. You know, I won't do that. No. No, it's too much. You just stand till they, they're like, sit there. I'll just do a U-turn, walk out of there. Be like, this isn't for me right now. Do you know what the aggressive move is? We were in that Seafield place down south, and uh, they've got the like the two-tiered sauna. It's like bench one, you know. Bench. That's what this is too, yeah. I, I get right up in the dark corner. Yeah. Just like sit there, head down, sweating. That's the tightest. I was born in the moistness. <laughs> That's the tightest spot. Yeah. You know, That's you sit up there for 10 minutes, say you fucking walk out toasty. Yeah. Do you get yeah. a good heavy hang on in the sauna? What do you mean? You know, if you swim in, you get a wee small dick. Does it descend again in the sauna? <laughs> yeah, it braves. Yeah. The coochie braves in the sauna. Oh, good. You can't breathe in too hard though in the What's the ball the bag sauna? like after the sauna? Ah, oh, like Play-Doh. Loose, loosey-goosey. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. Just, yeah. Pizza though? Yeah. Grim. It's like a bag of stuffing. <laughs> Don't know what that means. <laughs> sagey? Dry and crumbly? Don't yeah, Zana will give you a sagey bag. <laughs> <laughs> I should have a I should have a fitness a fucking TikTok. Yeah. Start one. Yeah. Start one anyway. You go that's the way your life's going. Yeah, just a pure irony. Mullet gang. Yeah. Get them workouts on. M- mullet and skillet. You were saying recipes now? You were saying earlier the best thing for me to do would be to get yoked. So that it'll drive you mad and then you'll do it too yeah and i'll have to get more yoked yeah and then i'll start doing abusing steroids and stuff you'll be on the trt i'll be like a rich piano you'll be the one who dab pumped with our strength like, TRT. Oh, fucking touch the thing <laughs> fucking veins all in my head can you tell if someone's on the roids like right enough usually even trt isn't a little bit more subtle um yeah but it's still there's still like rapid benefits compared to is that Simon Sulak guy? Is that what you call him? Sam Sulak? Ah, yeah. He's uh, like his back. Oh, is... the no, he's fucking juiced to the tits. Like. Ah, but he's got a pizza back. Is that because yeah. of TRT? Yeah, your, hor- your, your hormones are all up a left. Aye. Yeah. See, no, I can't, I can't be doing that. So you get all spotty and your skin goes weird and all that sort of shit. But that's the price you pay if you want to be stacked and jacked. Nah, just go to the center and go to the sauna, bro. You don't need to be doing that. You don't need to be doing all that. Well, it depends what you're after, you know. You stand beside Sam Sulek and you'll see why he's on them. Yeah, but he looks like a cloud. That's, looks like a big VNA cloud. That's what he's after. Nah, he's, all, he's after, he wants that that success of standing in a line of other men in thongs. 
<laughs> and someone goes, you look the best of the men and thongs. And did then they give him a wee medal, and then he goes back and has a heart attack. To be fair, I did watch that Arnold documentary, and, uh, you know, he makes that sound like something you'd want to get into. Yeah. You know, it's very cool. But he is, like, the most famous ever. You yeah. Know, it is going to sound good if you're the most famous ever of something. Yeah. You know? He also sounds like a boy that I'd like to check up on. You know, because he was talking to the documentary and he was like, everyone's talking about anxiety and depressed. He's like, I don't have time. He's like, I don't have time to be overwhelmed. And I was like, that sounds like a man that's overwhelmed. <laughs> I don't know. Like, you get a wee small, ho like, pony in your house. That fairly calm you down. Oh, that's right. Uh, he has the pony outside. He's, 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 he's got a fucking donkey or something around about the house. That's very wholesome. Yeah. But then, how could they get angry and anxious with the tiny donkey? <laughs> My mother is dead. <laughs> Was that not what he was saying? He's yeah, like, pretty much, yeah. They were like, you, did, how, did your, how did that affect your mother, Dad? He's like, I. Every day I'm coming. <laughs> I was like, yes, Arnold. That's the famous quote, though. Every day I'm coming? Yeah. Arnold said that. Yeah, that's his, his most famous quote, apart from like, so I'll, I'll be back. <laughs> it's like, it, goes, it goes, I'll be back. Every day I'm coming. You know, he's like, when I get to the pump, ah, so it, 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 feel like, it feels like I'm coming. So every day I'm coming. Oh, uh, okay. So that's what the pump club's all about. Coming. Yeah. I'm in the pump club myself. Just some fucking absolute jack guy. Just pulled me tiny wires <laughs> up. Sweating like mad. <laughs> Could you get so jacked to be dangerous to jack off? You know, because you're like too mussy. <laughs> Hi. How would it be dangerous? Like, you know, you don't know your own strength. You just fucking rip the cock ears off. But like, actually, I'd say Arnold is a rip banjo string in his history. I ripped my banjo... <laughs> String clean <laughs> off. <laughs> I don't get time to fix it. <laughs> Arnie's done some shagging, I bet. Oh, why? Oh, why? But every, every day I'm coming. Yeah. There's always just like, they're just so big. There's always just like two wee, like, brown Brazilian models kind of like sitting on his knee. He's like, I just uh, fucking. Uh, you know, did just, you watch that documentary? I think like the first episode. Yeah. Do you hear him tell the story about how he met his wife? Coming. It's, <laughs> it's very like wholesome and it's very romantic, but he essentially just goes, I, I just took her. Yeah. You know, he's, she was like a bartender or a barista or something. And he just was basically like, you know, I, I just took her. Get in the van. Just tucked, tucked her underneath his arm. Uh, yeah, why not? What would be better than that? It was like foreign charm, you know? Get in the car. Just a big yoke jack, dude. What's better? What's Talking better? Sweet that's the fucking. Here. That's like a fairy tale for these hoes. Yeah, the a famous jacked guy who's loaded. Ah, but at this time he wasn't. She she got in. Which she one, got in good. Which one was he not? He was jacked. jacked. Yes, he was not famous. Oh, and he was not loaded. Still enough. But the jacked leads to you know alpha male. Yeah, it leads you to yeah. I just walked in. Fields. I love that one. Hundred percent. Yeah. We can't do that. And he, is he still married to her? He is. Oh, well, they paid off then. Yeah, 100%. You she get to see out. the pony as well. <laughs> you get to play with the pony. But if a, boy, if a local boy got a pony, you'd think he'd cook the goose. Yeah, you can't get a, you can't get a pony when you're poor. Yeah. <laughs> you saw pony in the house is like only acceptable if you're a multi-millionaire. <laughs> you can't. If you got a pony in the house. Oh, in the bungalow? Uh, <laughs> he wasn't fucking joking. My mom wouldn't even let me get a rabbit. <laughs> As if his house didn't smell bad enough. Not of a check gold. Did you did you want the rabbit? When I was younger, yeah. Oh, right. I thought this was recently. Man, yeah. told like, me stop vaping, he's got a switch. <laughs> he's bought a fucking rabbit. <laughs> Big rabbit guy now. <sighs> I'd like a pet, you know. Would you? I would like a pet. I'd like a dog. What sort of dog would you like? I'd love an Akita. Oh, a murderous Japanese <laughs> yes. fucking child killer? <laughs> yes. Okay. That's what I want. It's a weird dog for a guy who's scared of dogs. Yeah. No, I'll move for that now. I just got a lion on his lead. Thanks to Maureen's dog. Very different. That was my gateway dog. And Akito would fucking chew the head off that dog. Yeah. That dog's fucking... Every time you go in their house, Box runs at you and you go, when has it ever not been someone in the family that you see every day? Yeah. You know, was there one time where it was like a knife-wielding burglar and you got to stay alert? No. Every day it's us. Yeah. All right. Oh, Jesus, Jesus again. But that dog's like, you know, he's like that at the start, but then when he's used to your presence, he is like a stone granddad. Mm -hmm. Very chilled out, very calm. Oh, yeah. Just wants to be held. Yeah. It's also a girl. Dog. Just a stone grandmother. Yeah. 
a bitch, as they would say in the game. <laughs> you can't be calling grandma a bitch. No. I do, I do like uh, when dog people do just, you know, it's like we everyone laughs at it. Like, they'd be like, hey, the bitch is six months old. And you go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's like when you do jujitsu ju- and someone's like, oh, my gay's dirty. <laughs> and everyone laughs at it. The bitch thing is, you know, but after a while, like the gay thing, people just say, just forget about it. It's not funny anymore. Yeah. The bitch thing is I like got in the dog world. Did you have a dirty gay? No. Gay was clean. Aired that gay out. <laughs> that gay brave. That, that gay brave plenty of times. But I've, you know, you're out walking, you know, see people with dogs and they're all chatting to each other. It is a good conversation like, starter. I, 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 you know, he's, he's fucking a year old and the two bitches are six months old. But they are bitches at home. And they just keep, <laughs> yeah. keep saying it. Yeah. You know I, mean? yeah. I have to leave the other two bitches at home because they're a bit feisty. Um, t- couldn't bring them bitches out in public. Talking about his wife and daughter? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I have a van full of bitches. <laughs> but I couldn't let them out this time of year. They're on hate these bitches. And they'd be fucking... They'd be, these bitches would be humping anything in safe. Mad bitches, I'm telling you. I would prefer a bitch now. <laughs> they just say it like you know what I mean. It's like <laughs> how to get the bitch put down. <laughs> <laughs> Too mouthy. <laughs> the bitch went after the postman. <laughs> Hit her with a spade. <laughs> uh, that's gotta be like worst case scenario for any man loving. What the bitch fucks the postman. <laughs> <laughs> My postman's name. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> the wife bangs Barry from DPD. <laughs> what a weird thing to do. Like, they name. Everybody gets Barry from DPD is delivering your thing. Yeah. Barry's not the guy. No. They just pretend. Oh, Barry's going to deliver it. Yeah. Yeah, we, we get Barry too. Yeah. Yeah. The guy's busy. He's like Santa. Yeah. <laughs> That's the adult Santa. Barry from DPD. Yeah. yeah. I must. I'm gonna, I'm gonna ask him his name. I know the guy. It's the same guy every time. What is your name? Now we never see a postman. It's always DPD. You never see a postman. Like we're never. We're not a letter house. Okay. Not a lot of letters coming in. They all bank statement. Yeah. You know, student finance and stuff at me. Mm. Trying to get at me. You'll never get this. You will never get this. They're sending me the letters with the red writing. That's how you know they're. Do you put it in the special filing cabinet? The bin. Uh, you're right. <laughs> Filed. The bitch at it. <laughs> The bitch out my homework. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently, if you don't pay it for long enough, it just goes away. Uh, yeah, I think, I think that's true. There is a cap on it. What is it, like 10 years or something? Ah, oh, well, here. I'm nearly there. Keep the head down. Keep changing the haircut. They'll never find you. Paid off my overdraft. So I'm as good as gone now. I got a phone call the other night, and I, I was expecting a phone call for like a delivery or, or whatever the fuck it was. The car, that was it. The guy was ringing me back, and this weird number rang me, and this woman, like... You know, it had to be stereotypical. But? But she was just like, we are doing research into the thing. And I literally just went, nah! <laughs> so rude. So rude. But it was like, like, I never get phone calls. And then when I'm waiting for a phone call, you ring me. Mm. Fuck off. <laughs> what phone call were you waiting on when I last rang you? When did you last ring me? We had the first time you were in bed. I wasn't waiting on anything. I was getting changed. Oh, nice. And then you rang me to show me your hair. Yeah. It's okay. Look at it. <laughs> thought I would give you. You rang to see what you thought of the mullet. Yeah. You were the two. You're like, man, I think. You know what I was wearing? You know what I was wearing at the time? No trousers. I knew you didn't have trousers no on. No pants. Hoodie. You had the aura of no pants on that Cock- phone call. I know why, because I, 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 I had the, the phone here. Oh, it looks good, man. <laughs> Deck out, hoodie on. <laughs> Yeah, you definitely had no pants. Do you have workout well. boxers? That's why I had no dick. That's why, that's why I had no dick. <laughs> and that's why I got no dick. And, and that's why I got no dick. <laughs> do, do, I, have, do you ever have boxers that you're going to work out in? You're like, I don't like working out in them boxers because you're fucking dongs all over the place. No. I have workout boxers. What's, what brand of boxers do you have for working uh, out? It's not even a brand. It's just the, the sort of type. Okay. Type. Eh, diabetes. Uh, no, it... <laughs> um, I don't know, just a bit tighter, you know. No, I, just I have, I have Under Armour, like, boxers. Ooh. So I put them on the workout. And you're calling me Huberman? <laughs> you could br- work out branded boxers? Well, yeah. I just, you, I just throw on the next boxers, I'm good to go. <laughs> just chafe all over them? Yeah. 
I don't know. Sometimes you'd be fucking pulling them out of your hole and your balls and all day. I just like get the wee tight ones on. Yeah. Cup it all in. I do treat them like toxic waste when I, because I, you know, you throw them in the locker and then I have a pair of boxers for after the gym. Hi. You know, I throw them on. Yeah. And I, I just, I take them off and I'm like, Jesus, throw them in there. Rotten. Do you and Aaron just described getting changed there. That was great. <laughs> <laughs> would you change your socks after a workout? A hundred percent. Yeah, I would too. Oh, they'll change the whole thing. Some people don't. Some people keep the socks on. That's disgusting. Yeah. I Sweaty was a, socks. I was a box the other week and they've got, did I tell you about this? The rubber floor? No. Basically melted the rubber floor into the bottom of my socks. What do you mean? All that crumbly, you know, like the floor you'd see in a, in a park, like a kid's park. Yeah, yeah. Spongy. But all the wee black bits come off and I jumped around in my bare feet and it all stuck to the bottom of my feet like a tire. It's disgusting. How are you getting on with the boxing? Professional. Yeah? Pretty, you know. Jabs hit it? No, no, it's fucking, it's so upsetting to like feel like you're getting better and then he's like... Conrad's like, oh, do you want me to take a wee, can I take a wee video for the, for the Instagram? And I'm like, work away, man. And then he puts the clip up and I'm like, I fucking look mental there. You feel like you're getting better and then you see the, you know, you re- review the tape. Yeah. And you're like, oh, I'm fucking, I should be claiming DLA. Nah, man, you know, you're progressing, you know. That's what it is. Slow, fat. No, I wouldn't be embarrassed that. That's fucking, that's good shit. Okay. I'm turning up, which is the most important part. Exactly. I'm turning up. Exactly. I'm going in there, doing my cardio at the end. I saw a wee picture of you on Facebook this week. Where? <laughs> you at the car garage? Oh, yeah. Stop <laughs> rocking that chair. Fuck it. Did they, give you, did, did they give you a discount for that? Listen, it was a lovely experience. <laughs> they were nice guys. They gave me the extended <laughs> warranty. Uh, what else they give me? I don't know, but the guy was like, he goes, oh, you, he goes, you wouldn't mind. They get a photo of him. He's like, do you mind getting a photo? And I was like, sure. I loved the stance. I would have did the exact but same they, thing. But, you know, I had the two Mercedes keys. I bought the same car again, idiot. But uh, I was trying to do the chopper with the two keys. But they're like black keys with a wee fucking silver stripe on them. So from a distance, it looks like I'm holding two spoons. It did look like two spoons. It looked like I was just standing there with two spoons in front of this car, like ready for lunch. <laughs> <laughs> and you're you missed that car like hmm? you missed that car it was good to have you back on it you know oh yeah it's fantastic yeah gleaming you feel at home you know you picked me up from the dad and i was like holy fuck i love it get out of this man's way i don't know what i don't know what i've done there but i've just i've hoped out like the bit i feel like the best version of of a mercedes jeep yeah unless you're getting a fucking g-wagon or something i'm sure that's nicer yeah but i like it like way it feels <laughs> A you, know, you know, you know, you get in a nice car and you're, you're just you're you're just going along listening to the radio and you go, I'm doing 98 mile an hour. You know yeah, those, you were you know gliding. Like, you know those cars just. <sighs> you're doing the idea and it was gliding. It was like you know when the the plane hits like a real smooth bit of sky. <clears throat> yeah, that was us. Yeah, like, geez, I better better pump the brakes a bit. Listen to Rick Ross. Rick Ross, yeah, <laughs> and get you in the mood. Yeah, flying. Uh, what was that? What did you? What was the question? What did you say there? I'm not gonna have a question. Oh, I thought you said something else. <laughs> oh well. Okay. <laughs> Picked you up on that. Do you want yeah. a question? Huh? Do you want a question? I give me a question. We're only four minutes left. Give me, give me a question. Right. When was the last time you went swimming? Uh, um, <laughs> when I was when I was on holiday, it was the last time I was in a pool. Oh, nice. But uh, see, Maureen takes Eddie to swimming lessons, but she drives for about an hour and fifteen minutes to t- to let him swim for fifteen uh-huh. or for half an hour, and then drives back. Uh-huh. And I don't want any part of that. That's what I'm. That's what I'm a deadbeat dad. You're like fuck this woman. I'm not. I'm not driving the whole way out there to go to swimming lesson where they're like singing songs and all that. But we, I think we should start going to the pool just for regular pool time. Yeah. I can't swim. Like, well, I can, but it doesn't look good. Like, it looks concerning. Yeah. I, I have the type of swim where the lifeguard would get off the seat. Ah, uh, he's not in, but he's on his feet just in case. Yeah, like I look like I'm struggling, and he's not jumping in. He's phoning someone. Yeah. <laughs> Say <Awkward>. word. <laughs> Come here, right? What, what's that uh, thing you get the orca out of the pool with? <laughs> There's a fucking manatee in the middle. Send center. it around. <laughs> uh, you know what is intimidating, though? Like, are in, you good good swimmer? No, I'm not a good swimmer, like, but I I can swim, like, mm. I'll bust out and I'll swim, you know. But I'm not. I don't do that. I'm not a fucking athlete. Yeah, I'll do that. The breast stroke, B- big breast stroker. Yeah, yeah. Yep. I have. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> I'll be Daddy Stroke. Real bad man. Dirty cop. <laughs> I bet. <laughs> you dirty bastard. Yeah. Sal- <laughs> Salibut foreplay. The brass stroke. <laughs> <laughs> stroke and cop. <laughs> That's fun thing. Copping? I just feel the weight of it. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> like you're in the produce at the supermarket. It's ripe. <laughs> Now, can you swim? You're a wee salty sea dog, are you uh, not? Yeah, well, oh, all right, I swim. Uh, I haven't yeah. done it very often, though. You think you can swim until you go co-steering with the Mulhalls? Oh, yeah. Oh, I fucking mer- Them boys are amphibians. <laughs> mer- <laughs> mermaids. <laughs> them boys are. <laughs> fucking William at one point is like, oh, shit, and dropped the GoPro and just went under the water for about fucking 14 minutes. <laughs> That's where is he? I, them, them he came back and was like, I got it. I got it. <laughs> Them's the kind of guys I can't be around. <laughs> Because they're like too luscious and sexy. Yeah. I'm just like, I can't be seen walking about with you guys. <laughs> yeah. See what I mean? Yeah. Walk over there. <laughs> Look like a rescue dog. Walk over here, sexy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're too sexy to be like in public. <laughs> What's your hair made of? Vinyl? You, you ever know? saw that like a couple that's too hot? Yeah. You know? And you start telling yourself lies. Like, they're bored as fuck. Yeah. Like, yeah. They're shit, crap. They're doing mesh. Yeah. <laughs> they're not doing any fucking... <laughs> no silly billy backwards for them too. <laughs> <laughs> like a normal frontwards bit of mesh. <laughs> <laughs> Dave, can you swim? Yeah, he can swim. Big swim. Good? Like, yes. are you doing a stroker? Oh, shit. I'll never have that. No. Nah, no surfing for us. Not unless we get one of them big novelty boards, that, like a paddle board that holds eight people standing up. Right? Yeah. <laughs> you lay down that. Breast stroke. Another. <laughs> now, water activities Again. freak me out. Again, surfing, another thing I've never done and think that I'd probably be pretty good at it. No. With no evidence to back out. No, I don't have that for me at all. I look at that and I'm like, fuck. It would need to be a thick old board for me. No way. You'd need, like... No, I look at that shit and I'm like, there's a documentary about it, though. That makes it look very cool, but I could never be involved in that shit. There's a documentary about surfing makes it look cool? Yeah. Okay. It's called, what is it? Normally it looks shit, but... uh, I uh, sometimes it does look kind of shit. You're like, you do I saw else. a video of a proper like Hawaiian girl, you know, on the big longboard, like jumping up and walking to the front of it and giving it all this fucking shit. And all. I was like, that's gangster. Yeah, that's gangster. Like with behind her. Oh wow. Uh, yeah. But she was like, you know, walking about it, and she was doing all the wee fucking hand shit. Ah uh, yeah, full of gangster. He's still a bitch. Just crip walking on, like, <laughs> on the surfboard. <laughs> keep it gangster, y'all. No, keep it gangster. I would pay to see that. You know. What's on TikTok for now? People crap rocking on a crap rocking, crap rocking, <laughs> crap walking on a surfboard, <laughs> getting jiggy with. <laughs> you know what questions? <laughs> um, I mean the guy that asks questions twenty four hours a day. What's a really silly thing that makes you feel at peace? Give me an example of what you're thinking of. Like you know, like something really simple, like you know, a, a cup of tea. Or something like that, or you know, whenever you have like a nice blanket, or something like this, or okay. you know, a simple pleasure. Yeah. Um, but for whatever reason, you know, you did, or you look at it, and you're like, "All right, let's calm me down right way about there now." Loads of things. I don't know. A nice wank. No. Uh- <laughs> Loads of things you ever, you know, you get some mix of nice coffee, like a nice flat white or something. Oh, yeah. Don't need anything else. I felt very at peace in that cafe today. Yeah, mouthful of pork. Very much so. Frank snuck two sausages in there. I was like, fuck, there is a god. Yeah. We did pay for them. I didn't sneak, you didn't sneak them in. Like They were on request. Oh, did you do a sneaky? I was like, stick (laughs) two fucking sausages. You did a sneaky order? Aye. Fucking hell, I thought it was my birthday, the way they came down. Some days, you know when you, you know when you're like, uh, I'm absolutely starving. Like, I'm shaking. I'm not hungry. Mm. And I really want to eat one big... You know when you're like, just have me eat big now. One meal day. So I can, like, forget about it. Yeah. Even though we will go Asian later. But um, what I really wanted was, like, two of what we ate today. As in, like, four pieces of sourdough with eggs and bacon? No, and- more more like same amount of sourdough, same amount of guacamole. Maybe, like, more eggs, for example. Yeah. That's what I wanted. You're talking three, four eggs here? Aye. These are big chunky old fried eggs. Like. Aye, I know. 
protein, bro. Protein. It is big protein. We will play rugby. Yeah. <laughs> I was in a rush one day and I had to eat something for him and I just threw in scrambled egg and just heat brown sauce on it. Is that stinking? Nah. I like that. Scrambled egg and brown's good. Yeah. I made... I, I, you know what I almost pulled off the other day? <laughs> My bell ain't, no. <laughs> uh, <laughs> do you know the fucking, like, TikTok Chinese eggs? Oh, I... Where they fucking just, like, twist it? I got... Maureen's ma has this amazing, like, thin pan for doing, like, pancakes or something. It was non-stick, and I was like, put it in, it was like loads of butter. It was ridiculous. And uh, just started like turning it, and the whole, you know, like the whole bit of egg moved in the pan. And I was like, I'm just going to keep twisting it. I'm going to do the twist the eggs. <laughs> oh, why? I fucked it in the end, like, but you know, it was, it was getting there. It was like, if I practice this with chopsticks. What is the twist the egg? What do you mean by that? They just, they fucking, you've seen it, like they... He tw- the guy twists it and then lets the rest of the egg run out and then twists it again and oh. it just comes out like a big fucking curly. I see that's an art there. That is, but that's, that's the Asians art. for you, you know. They, that that's all that guy does with his life. Yeah, master of the eggs. Oh yeah, like if you watch that Jetto dreams of sushi, oh, could, uh, could never, sir. What someone, an inspiration! Who told me they went there and it was shit? Or did I hear that off someone on a podcast or something? Talking shit. Someone said they went there. It was it was cack. Oh, it was Andrew Schultz. Oh, yeah, that's where I heard it. Yeah, That's where it was. Yeah. What do you know? What do you know? You fucking G. <laughs> <laughs> no idea. No idea. No idea. Sign you. <laughs> Get back in that tunnel. Yeah, fucking. <laughs> you know, I said in Shane's podcast, <laughs> the Black Eyed Peas did a concert there, and him and William both bought it for about eight seconds. What was and it? And I bust out laughing. I said the Black Eyed Peas did a concert in the Jewish tunnel. <laughs> right. And they totally bought it. Wow. And I burst out laughing and they realised I was joking. Two fucking idiots. <laughs> a bit lit though. A bit lit. Have you been Pulse down uh, have you been down any wormholes this week on the internet? I mean the Jewish tunnel thing was like, you know, that's the thing where it's like the truth is matter than fiction. You know, I seen that and I was like I literally thought I was going through psychosis. It's mental, like, what are they doing down there? And you know and it's you might have mentioned that in that podcast, all the lads. All those Jewish parties you see, fellas. Yeah. No chicks. Yeah. All arm in arm, bouncing up and down. No they're ch- watching Jack Whit, but he was down there. That's what they're doing. No checks. Yeah. <laughs> they're just watching Jack White shred and Conan O'Brien. Jack Vice. Yeah. <laughs> uh, it's fun to just watch you be a fan, you know? Why? Because I'm such a miserable c- the rest of the time? <laughs> <laughs> no, because like you'll give me shit about Tyler the Creator, and I'll watch you watch him, and I'm like, this is the same thing. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Jake, you could name a Jack White song in two seconds? Well, I don't know now. Do you want to try it? Give me your phone for the crack. Oh, this is going to be embarrassing. Oh, there's so many. Because I, you know, yeah. I'm, uh, now, are we going White Stripes or are we going Jack White by himself? Like, what do you want? The, the playlist so of. Pro- many. Go, to, go, go to like. Dead <laughs> go to like. I was playing him Dead Weather last night. He was like, this is class. <laughs> go, just go to like. Uh, Jack White fucking radio or something. Or not Jack White radio, like... Essentials? Yeah, something like that. <sighs> oh, fuck. <clears throat> okay. It's going to fail miserably. We'll cut all this out. Let's try this. Is love in the title? Yeah. Interrupted or something? Love is blindness. Love is blind. Oh, yeah, sorry. That's a cover. It's not even his song. What are we talking about? Do you know who wrote that? The Edge. I'm shaking. Yep. Another cover. The man's fierce for the cover. Here we go. Here we go. Never fucking kick it. This is Jack White. Perfect. Right. Do you know what my real wormhole was this week? Vietnam door gunners. Anyway, we move on. Don't know. That's some obscure fucking. If I die tomorrow. Like fuck that. Fear of the dog. Yes. Oh God. Is that a? Is that one of his or is that a different band? Mm-hmm. It's one of his. It's one of his. I forget the name. I've let you down, Jack. Freedom of Twenty One. Yeah, I knew that. One more. I'd have got there, man. Don't know. Missing pieces. Yeah, you see anything that's anything, anything with a piano in it, I, I won't listen to it. 
I know literally last night we were watching it, uh, that live in, from the basement thing. Yeah. And he's fucking going nuts with the guitar, like going into a real frenzy. And then he like sits at the piano and Carl goes, don't worry about that shit. Don't worry about that fucking shit. <laughs> Fuck that shit. Yeah. No one wants to see him play piano. <laughs> It's like Andre 3000 with a flute. <laughs> like, shit, fuck up. Well, it's, hard to, it's very hard to have the same cadence with a piano as he does with a guitar. Yeah. You know? Like, it immediately the party's going down a wee bit. Yeah. You know, it's the calm down when Jack gets on the piano. Yeah, fuck that there, shit. Yeah, I was, I was going down a Vietnam war wormhole the other day. Sir. The war gunners? Have you ever seen them? You know the boys that sit on the helicopter? No. Just fucking out the window? Oh, I... Uh, average life expectancy Two weeks Jesus That's God. how long they give them in there We some pay I'm sure <laughs> I'm sure I'll be like here You can't take it with you Can you look up a door on our wage on Google Nah I don't know if there's that many jobs going these right. days in Vietnam yeah, You can't go on Monster <laughs> <to play for. laughs> Fiverr <laughs> Need a door gunner for an hour here <laughs> ah, You'd have to be though Ooh. Like the kind of the kind of fucking <clears throat> mindset you'd have to have as a man to do that, like, you know, just sit behind a gun for about half an hour and just shred all around you. The guy was literally, you know, it wasn't with any precision. The guy was literally shaking it, like... Oh, why? Just fucking spray. Yeah. Pray and spray. Spray, spray and pray. Yeah. Yeah, and then the other that went down there, like, uh, into the tunnels. That was another job. The Rat Man or something they called them. Oh, Jesus. They're all wild graphic titles. The Rat Man. Yeah, they'd send some down a tunnel with a, a pistol and a torch. And the, the survival rate of them was like, oh yeah, you know, out of a hundred, maybe three would come back. Do you think they give them something a wee bit more heavy duty than a pistol? Well, they're in a tunnel. Aye, but you know, you could you could weld a bigger gun in a tunnel, surely? No? No. A weld? <laughs> weld? <laughs> weld? I mean, welding in there, bro. <laughs> I mean, how are you going to weld? How are you going to get a welder down there? Sir, imagine you chilling in a tunnel with the rest of the boys and you see a flashlight and a pistol going, you'd fucking shit yourself. Oh yeah, next time. But they used to booby trap them and all. You know, there'd be like a basket of fucking scorpions and shit. Oh, why? You know, yeah. you're crawling along there like, where is it? where are these motherfuckers? We flashbang. What's that? <coughs> ah, fucking scorpions hanging off your arm. Aye. Oh, I'd be like, if I got bit by a scorpion, I'd be like, fucking shoot me now. Well, that's what the pistol's for. Yeah. You know, I'd be crawling along and look up, and there's just a snake, and I go, oh, well. <laughs> you know, fucking in the tunnel. Would you rather be a... Let's face it, we wouldn't get in the tunnel. I was, I've been there. I, if, I, if the enemy was in the tunnel, I'm fucked. I'd have to wait for them to come outside. I just fill it up with cement, like them Jews. Yeah. They, that's right. They tried to fill up the tunnel. Yeah. Is it, well, that video, by the way, of that guy coming out, that is the most mad thing I've seen on the internet yet. All the deaths, everything I've seen, that's the maddest thing yet. This guy gets out, full Jewish outfit, and like scurries <laughs> across the street. Jewish outfit? Yeah. Jewish costume he's wearing. <laughs> yeah. It's the cosplay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> furry, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, furry sideburns, Jewish furry. I'm sorry, furry, <laughs> Jewish, Jewish furry, Jew <laughs> Jewish furry. <laughs> Shalom. <laughs> yeah, I can't be getting involved in any tunnel activities, unfortunately. No. It was like get into the get into the fucking grating on the ground, and I'd be like, "I'll take a steps, I'll take a step, lad." <laughs> I love how you look at surfing and go, "I could knock the bag out of that." Then tall, and you're like, "No, fuck that." Yeah, not a chance. Ah, it's perfectly reasonable. So our jacket is or a gile. You like it? Yeah, the inside of it's like the stuff we used to keep takeaways hot. Ah! Yeah, yeah, that's what I'll be doing. You get a hold of Chinese, and that'll do what? I'll be taking two. <laughs> I'll be taking fucking two spring rolls home. <laughs> Cheers, lad. They're still fresh in the car later. I need some. I have no shoes for this weather. I just realized. <laughs> I have no slush shoes whatsoever. Okay. No slush kicks. Does that mean we'll have to go for dinner and shoes? I might have to buy a wee pair of shoes. Walk out with them all in a pair of Timberlands. I have a pair of Timberlands that are probably a bit too big for me. I could nearly <coughs> let you try them on. What size is it? They're an 11, but they're massive. You could get two of my feet into one of them. I don't know what the crack is. Did you buy a pair then in your size? No, this is years no. ago. I've had them for years, but they look brand new. Yeah. They're not Louis Vuitton. They've, they've launched those. Louis Vuitton Thames? Yeah. That's too much. It's too much. That was like the doll of the day we've seen going to Napa Greens. Fenty scarf. Hey. Cost of living crisis? My ass. <laughs> <laughs> There's always money about. 
That's the good thing about money. There's always more of it. It's, always, it's in them tunnels. No, it's in them tunnels. Oh, Jesus. There's some money in there. Oh, Jesus <laughs> Christ. <laughs> uh, right. We're going to get out of here, so we are. So it is. Slide on over to the Patreon. Aye. Take a silly turn. Take a silly turn. Uh, yeah, there's loads of episodes over there. There's going to be live podcasts. You know that shit. We've got big announcements coming up. Keep your eyes peeled. Massive. Massive. Yeah, do that. And we'll see you next week. Uh, get on the Patreon. Thanks very much. Thanks. Bye-bye, driver. Bye-bye, driver. Woo! <laughs> nice. Drop, 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 drop.